What up guys, I am Sara Garvey and welcome back to The Streets Opinion. Now today, as you can see, we are asking the question, with all the talk from all the higher ups about conscriptions, we're asking a simple question today. Would you go to war for this country? Let's see what the people of the streets of London have to say about that. Would you? Hell no. What do you mean hell no? What do you mean hell no? Why not? She said hell no. Would I go? Would you go to war for this country? Absolutely not. Why? One hundred percent not, because this country barely supports I and I. That's why. When you say it barely supports you, what do you mean? I mean, this country has got its hands in many things. Yeah and they would pull us in on many things, so why would I go to war for a country that didn't even do the, the wind rush thing properly? And let's talk about stuff like that and send people back home after people done work for the country. Mm. Mm. Is that cool? It's, that's interesting because my mum nearly got deported for that. You see? Is that cool? Is that, mm, they got a statue down there, but does it really, is that an equivalent thing? Have you really done, the people that built this country well helped put work into the country my, my mm. nurses bus drivers we've done many things for this country and we, we, we've got little or nothing back for it so would you say the country is more divided now is the country more divided no i wouldn't go to war no you wouldn't go to war do you want to come on camera and say it yeah so no the question is definitely no, 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 absolutely no, no, no. And um, I don't know if I'd go to war for any country. So, so you're not proud of any country to proud enough to go to war for them? Maybe somewhere in Africa, maybe. Mm. But I, the affiliation, I, I think personally, I'm too westernized. Let me pose that question back to you. Would you go to war for this country? I would go to war if I thought that this country politically was aligned with me. And when I say that, I, I mean that it actually cared for the people. Mm. My thing is, I will go to war for any country mm -hmm. that I felt had my best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. This country doesn't seem to have the people's best interests at heart. And so you, you're constantly questioning what their motives are. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I would defend myself against another country if they came for me. Mm -hmm. But to actually send me and go to war for them? Mm. No. You wouldn't? No. Mm -hmm. That's me. I wouldn't do it. So, I wouldn't do it. therefore you know that this country doesn't... And war is a political game yes. for me. It's a political game. Yes. And so if it's a political game, and most of the time people end up as pawns in, a, in somebody's political game. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. So... So going to war for this country, I think that you, you're giving your life up unnecessarily. Mm. Or you might be. Mm. We don't know. Where, where, mm. You might not. You might. So no. Please. Would you go to war for this country? No. no. She said no. Would you go to war for this country? Would you go to war for this country? You're from Spain. <laughs> okay, no problem. No, nah, mate. Nah, mate, those days are gone. He said those days are gone. <coughs> he, he just said those days are gone. Would you? Would never. never. Wow, he said never. He said he'd never go to war for this country. I don't want to be on here, but what's your answer to this? I'm, I'm asking the question. No. Hell no. You would say hell no? Never. 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 So then if you, if, you, if you want to go to war for this country, yeah. would you say that... You, you, what, you don't like this country? Uh, don't worry, I can... You, you don't like this country or what? Um, I wouldn't say I don't like it, but I'm very disappointed in the country. That's, that's what I've been getting a lot. A lot of people saying that they're frustrated and disappointed in the country. Very disappointed. Because it's almost like the government are not human, almost like um, the MP has no heart whatsoever. Mm. He just 
has his own interests. Right. So do you think this war is more political? Do you think it's more political and not so much for the people? Yeah, not so, it's not for the people at all. It's not for the people. That's what, that's what a lot of people have been saying. Look what's happening in the world. How can it be for the people? Mm. Where are you thinking for the people? The people are not just people in this country, you know? No, you're, 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 what you're saying is what a lot of people have been saying, yeah. if I'm totally honest. Like, a lot of people have been saying, no, they're, they're frustrated in the country. Um, you get a, lot, a few people saying that they would, but a lot of people are like, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Which is very interesting because it's like, well, pff, I guess we're screwed then, if people decide to invade. Do you know what I mean? But thanks though. There are a lot of people who feel like the um, country of the UK don't deserve to be defended and I would actually take that up and probably say that may have something to do with the Commonwealth you see you can talk about karma and you can talk about things go around and come around and um, has it been has it been I'm asking the question has it been that because of what the Empire has done because of what the British Empire has done to so many other people that nobody now wants to defend them? That could be the question.